Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So, I got an email from a subscriber, and the subscriber sent a donation. So, thanks for your donation. And remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question will be answered, make sure you click the link below and send a donation. So, this one says, I wanted to know what are any good nonverbal flirting techniques to use on women, such as places to touch her, grab her, and body language, etc. All right. So, this is the thing. When you guys are, are flirting with a chick, right, and you want to touch her, you got to make sure that first, so before you even touch a woman, okay, before you touch a chick, you have to make sure that you are flirting with her, you know, th- with, with your words, basically, you understand? So it has to be verbal communication first, then if she's being responsive to the verbal communication, you understand if she's uh, responding positively to you flirting, to you really like going in with what you're saying, then you touch her, you understand? So I just want to get that out the way first because, you know, I don't want you guys to be up there talking to some chick and you don't even realize that she's not feeling you and then you try to touch her, that's not going to be a good thing. You feel what I'm saying? So, Basically, you need to know how to actually talk to the chick and, you know, and uh, and start flirting. And then once she responds to that flirting, then you, you know, move into the touching. Right now, you know, certain places and in, in ways to touch her is this. So, you know, you stick to the hands, the, you know, her, you know, her shoulders or her waist. Right. And now sometimes if you're sitting down, like if you're sitting next to her, you know, you could put your hand on like her knee for a second and then, you know, take it away and put it back on her knee for a second and, you know, stuff like that. You understand? So, you know, stick to the hands, the waist, the shoulders. And, you know, if you're sitting next to her, you you know, you can put it on her leg or her knee or whatever. Right. So the thing is, you only want to do these things again once you see that she is actually being responsive Two, you know, you actually, when you're flirting with her, right? So if you are flirting with her, you're, you're saying what you're saying and she's, you know, feeling it, she's smiling, she's giggling, she's, you know, all up in your face and all that because she's like really into the interaction, right? Um, what you can do is, is that let's say you're talking to this girl and then you say something like, let's say she has like a, a bracelet on or something. So you grab her hand and you say, hey, this is a, a nice bracelet. Where'd you get it from? So you're, you're looking at the bracelet as you're holding her hand, right? So then she says, oh, I got it from, you know, uh, Amazon. I ordered it. I thought it was really cool, yada, 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 right? And now as she's telling you this, you're, you're still holding her hand. You understand? And then so now you continue to flirt while you're holding her hand. Right. So then you can let go of her hand, uh, you know, maybe a, a minute later or whatever. And then you start you keep flirting and then you put your arm around her. You bring her closer into you as you're flirting. So it's always this back and forth thing with the flirting thing. You know, so it's like um, when you're when you're flirting with her, what you want to do with the touching is that you want to touch her, but then also pull back, touch her again, pull back. So you don't want to be holding her hand the whole time. You feel what I'm saying? You want to hold her hand, stop holding her hand, and then maybe hold her hand again a few minutes later, then stop holding her hand again, then put your arm around her, bring her close to you, flirt some more. You understand? So you do all these different things. Now, the fact that she's being receptive to your verbal communication and she's being receptive to the touching, then you can move on to actually, you know, kissing her. So let's say, for example, you're flirting, you're touching her hand, you know, you're, you're, you're pulling away a little bit, you touch her hand again, you put your arm around her, you pull her closer to you, y'all are flirting real heavy, and then you're going for that kiss because she's been receptive to the whole situation. You see what I'm saying? So the the thing is, you know, it's like, it's like this. It's like, you know, because a lot of guys get confused with this where, they they want to know like you know when's um the you know the best time to touch the girl and how do I do it and all this other stuff right and again like I said it's it's kind of like this you know like if you if like in sales right if a person buys something like let's say you go to a store to buy I don't know like um 
some like a shirt or something or some jeans or some shit like that right and now a good salesperson what they'll do is is that you know if you go to them and say hey you know I'm trying to find some jeans as this way that way whatever whatever right and let's say you find the jeans that you want and then you say to the salesperson oh yeah this is the ones I'm going to get right now the salesperson since they see that you're interested in the jeans what they'll do is they'll say, hey, you know, how about you get, um, you know, some of these socks right here? They're really good because, you know, they, they're, they, uh, they're good for the winter and they're really warm, blah, 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 blah. And you can, you know, wear them with the jeans, whatever, right? So they're adding on something else because they've already seen that you've shown interest in buying. So, okay, let me see if you're going to, you'll buy something else. Let me see if you will, uh, you know, keep going with this interaction. So the same thing happens with flirting when you are you know, you have that verbal communication, right? The fact that she's being receptive to what you're saying, you're saying, oh, so you're being receptive to what I'm saying. So how about I touch you? Let's see if you, you know, you know, let's see if we can make this happen. That's all you're really doing, right? But if she wasn't interested in the verbal communication, you're not going to go to the touching, right? Same thing if that salesperson seen that, oh, this person's not going to, you know, not interested in buying the jeans or buying anything, they're not going to bother to waste the time to try to sell them something else because they're not really interested anyway. They're, they're like, nah, I'm good. I'm going to leave the store or whatever. You understand? And then they just keep that shit pushing. And the reason why, you know, it's important to understand this stuff is because you don't want to get in a situation where a woman, um, you know, she's like, oh, um, this guy uh, sexually assaulted me and all this other craziness. You see what I'm saying? Because it's funny because a lot of guys have this paranoia of, you know, being with a chick and her sort of like singing that, oh, he, he did something to me or he did this to me or he, uh, you know, assaulted me or this, you know, all that type of stuff. And the reason why that usually happens in most cases is because guys don't understand how to read these chicks and, and, and you know, they don't know when to actually uh, touch a chick. They don't know when to actually uh, keep the flirting going. They don't know when to pull back. They don't understand any of these things. They don't understand the social cues. And so this is why, you know, guys get into situations, you know, or you, you're hearing all this stuff in the news where, you know, people are getting, they like, oh, this person assaulted me or they did this, they did that. Because the guy didn't know what the fuck he was doing. You see what I'm saying? So the thing is, is that when you know how to flirt, you know, when it comes to your verbal communication, that's going to open up the gateway for the touching part of the flirtatious situation. But you got to know that, you know, flirting part first, as far as the verbal goes, and then you move on to the touching and then, you know, then you get into the whole kissing and then you move on to sex and all this other stuff. You understand? You just take that shit step by step, but you got to be very receptive uh, or you got to be very, you know, um, you got to basically look and know and understand what's going on in the situation and, and, and notice her body language, notice how she is, um, you know, basically, um, you know, looking at you and, and talking to you and interacting with you, right? Because you have to see and notice if she's into it or not. You understand? That's really it. That's really what it is because if you see she's into it and she's showing that interest, that's when you keep going. If you notice that there's no interest and she's not really, uh, you know, responding to you in, in the correct way or whatever, you keep you keep that shit moving. You back off. You're like, all right, well, that's it. You understand? I'm done. Right. See, unfortunately, what happens a lot of times is you get like a lot of dudes who are extremely like they're extremely thirsty because they haven't been around a woman in a while or they just don't know how to read social cues. And then this is where, you know, shit just goes left. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure that, you know, before you touch the chick, make sure that you are, you know, having that verbal communication with her, that flirtatious verbal communication and see if she is responding to that. And then if she's responding to that, you start the touching part of the interaction. All right. So that's pretty much it. Listen, um, if you guys have any more questions, make sure you click the link below and I'll holler at you later. Remember the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone.
Now, before you turn off this video, make sure you click the link below to get the Mr. Locario 30 minute game session. Now, this is a private one on one coaching session between me and you where we chop up game for a half an hour. So make sure you click that link below to get the Mr. Locario 30 minute game session. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program. In this program, you'll receive 45 to 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com